Chapter 2, The Southern Lights. It's cool how much the Southern Tribe has developed. That occurred to me later after watching the last episode. I'm pumped up to learn that Unalak spirit fighting. I'm not here to teach you to fight spirits. I'm here to help you begin your spiritual training. Oh, Cora. <laughs> You're gonna train me at the South Pole? Can we go penguin sledding? We will do more than just train. By neglecting the spirits, the people of the South have brought darkness upon themselves. And now it threatens to destroy our tribe. I'm really interested to see what stance they're going to take on this. As I mentioned before, I think the tradition versus innovation thing is really important and very relevant to real life. I'm curious to see like how they're going to develop this, like what themes are going to emerge from it. There it is, the Southern Air Temple. I hope Isn't that Tenzin gets some spiritual closure himself, because there's some things that he has to deal with. He's not like quite a master yet, I feel. I don't know. Tonrock, what do you want? I heard you're taking Cora to the South Pole. She needs someone to watch after her. Dad, why do you always think you know what's best for me? Because he's misguided. He's ignored my warnings in the past and hasn't learned since. What happened in the past? Yeah, what happened in the past? <laughs> you can kind of tell that their issue is not only about the thing that they're arguing about. They have some, some bad blood between them as brothers. This is something I think is often true when you have arguments repeated arguments about certain issues with people, especially people you're close to. We tend to think there's an issue and then the issue makes us angry. But what's weird to think about is that sometimes we're already angry and we come up with reasons to argue and we're not even really aware of that. It's a very subconscious thing. We think feelings follow events, right? But actually sometimes events follow feelings. There are tensions or dynamics that just exist in the ether of relationships and you may not even be consciously aware of it, but you're your brain is telling you something's wrong and then your conscious mind will search for reasons to attack you know that's one thing i think is really common with couples like couples end up having really petty arguments about stupid things because it's not actually about the thing at all that's why it can be so hard to fix those arguments in a relationship because you're focused on the wrong thing it's like you have two options you can say that's stupid or you can say, okay, I'll work on that. But both of those options miss the actual issue that there's something internal going on between you that where the balance is not right, it's not harmonious. I don't know about the show necessarily, but in real life, the way that Unalak is speaking, he's so misguided. It's not really an argument for tradition, right? Or an argument for spirits, it's anger. It's like deep-rooted disdain for his brother. Guys, hey, wait for me! Did I interrupt a conversation? No, no, the conversation is over. <laughs> Dad, come if you want, just don't interfere with my training. Does this sidecar have the capacity for two passengers? Sure does. Oh, but, uh, that slave thing's working who's out, gonna huh? Who's going to drive? Well, what do you know? Looks like... Go away, Mako. <laughs> Wait, what was so he going to say? I want to hear the joke. Pole, then what happens? You will open an ancient spirit portal. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm sorry, what now? At the South Pole, there is a portal that connects our world to the spirit world. But it has long been closed. And that's why the evil spirits are attacking? There are no evil spirits. There is light and dark in them all. But when they're unbalanced, the darkness takes over. Hmm, Unalak is starting to win me over. Naga <laughs> continues to be clutch. What are those? Dark spirits. This reminds me of Princess Mononoke, which is one of my favorite movies. It's a great touch that Unilock says there are no good or evil spirits. It's a nice way of connecting the spirit world to the human world, you know? I think spirits are representations of primal things that are so deeply engraved in us as instincts that it's hard to look at them directly. Spirits are forces and feelings that exist throughout the natural world. And so I love it when it's portrayed in a view that's that's more nuanced and balanced and less about like nature good, humans bad, because I think that a lot of media, especially media in the West, paint a really bleak picture of humanity, when in reality, nature can be really cruel and harsh. It can also be very kind. Humans can be really cruel and harsh. They can also be really kind. They all exist in balance, and so great works that explore spirits and the interaction between spirits and humans, like Princess Mononoke, explore that in all its complexity. And so I think it's a really great sign that that Unilock said that. It shows a really nice, robust look at the connection between the human and like the the subhuman, I would almost say, like the really like primordial animal human that the spirit world often represents. Can we not talk about dark spirits, please? Don't worry, I will protect you, my feeble turtle duck. I'm really hearing the Aubrey Plaza now. The spirits are angry because he's here. 
Haven't you ever wondered how your father ended up in the South Pole? You should have told her a long time ago. Told me what? I left the North Pole because... because I almost destroyed the entire tribe. Hmm. So what do you do? Brother, we're being attacked! I drove them out of the city and deep into the frozen tundra. Ah! By another water tribe? What the heck? It's such a disgrace, you know, like... A hundred years after this horrible war, you know, just a couple of generations, you have this petty infighting. We tracked them deep into an ancient forest. Many believed this forest was the home to spirits. <laughs> we captured the barbarians, but in the process we destroyed the forest. I unknowingly let loose angry spirits. So he's always been good at it. Unalak. Unalak was able to guide the spirits back to the forest. But by then, the damage had been done. My father banished me from the Northern Water Tribe in shame. Seems like they just made a scapegoat out of him. He wasn't doing it intentionally. It wasn't like he ignored anyone's orders. I don't mean to say that lightly. I mean, like, for him, it's probably devastating to think that he caused that. But, you know, for us as the viewer, he did what he did because he thought it would protect the tribe. It's easy to forgive him because it feels like his, his intent was pure. It's just like he didn't know. Although maybe it's a long-running thing with the family that they should be more spirit-oriented and that he ignored that. Like, it seems like Unilock has always been inclined that way. So you were supposed to be chief. Then he became chief. No wonder you guys don't like each other. Ow, what? Isn't that what happened? We need you, Bolin. I can't we believe need you. you kept this from me. I was protecting you from the shame I brought on the family. Why do you keep hiding things from me and then telling me it's for my own protection? I'm tired of you protecting me! Yeah, I also don't like that. I don't like people keeping secrets from me because they think I'll be hurt. It's like, come on, give me the benefit of the doubt. Let me handle my own life, you know? You don't need to protect me from things. The most sacred place in the entire Southern Air Temple. Here you will find statues of every avatar who ever lived. Where's Milo? Where are your brother and sister? <laughs> I knew it. You can't pack me! I'm the greatest air skater of all time! Ooh. Ouch. Milo! It's okay, it was just Roku. Is that Aang? That is a badass statue. Mm, that's cute. Oh, she has some, like, special gifts. Why did that scene resonate with me so strongly? There's a magical moment you can have sometimes when you connect with things that are way bigger than yourself. I feel that way sometimes, like, in the summer, if you end up in, in the countryside, and you look up at the stars and it feels like they're, like, falling down on you, and you just, for, like, a second, feel like your total insignificance. There's something about that that is relevant to ancestry as well. It's like, the spirits of people who were there before you, they are more connected than is immediately obvious. You literally are them in a very real physical sense, and you're living the legacy that they created. So for her looking at Aang, I mean, what a feeling that must be. Not only is it her grandfather, father and her, the cause of her her existence and her family's existence but like the world's existence and he's a part of her you know she can never separate Aang from herself it's hard to explain but I feel that scene did a really good job portraying the feeling of like wonder and respect you know and like humility is awesome but I wonder what they're setting up for her because she, Cora, she heard her saw something you have every right to be mad at me but I Not don't really. want you to make the same mistake I made. Oh, for keeping secrets. I should have okay. never gone into that forest. Cora, look out! Is everyone okay? <laughs> I can't stop it! I love how their faces are so calm. It's I'll great. Save you. Oh, wow. I'm a raft! That was awesome. That was less awesome. <laughs> All right, very graceful. There goes our equipment. Right. Now what are we supposed to do? There's only one thing to do. Turn back. We have to turn back. No. No. We've the come too far now. Tonight. We're so close. From here, you're on your own. But I don't have any connection with the spirits. In fact, it seems like they hate me. You have to believe in yourself. Like That's I believe hard. in you. How do you believe in yourself if you have no, no evidence you can do it, right? Like, it's tricky. It's hard to believe in yourself just in a vacuum. You have to start some somewhere with something. It's a lot of trust he's placing in her. I guess I'm just so used to people telling me how to do things that I forgot what it was like to have someone trust in me. <laughs> Cora, all the past avatars live on inside of you. 
Let them guide you. Yeah, well, I guess you gotta start somewhere. I guess this is it. Sometimes if you got nothing, you just gotta do it. The spirit portal. <gasps> yeah, something's communicating with her. <gasps> what avatar is this? Come on, portal! Open! It's not the way, obviously. What's the connection to the Avatar? The past Avatar? There's an another story here, I guess? Awesome. Cora's back! Why are you initiating physical contact <laughs> with another woman? Slave. I feel like the relationship would be a lot better if her brother wasn't always around. That's weird. What the heck? More infighting? Who is it? What are all your northern troops doing here? Opening the spirit portal was only the first step in getting the southern water tribe back on its righteous path. There's more difficult work to be done before our two tribes are truly united. Oh no. He's taking over. Damn. That episode was beautiful. I feel like that episode did a great job capturing some of the better, more interesting themes about the spirit world, right? I really was getting like, Miyazaki vibes from it, which is super cool. I might be mistaken about this because I've only seen the series once, but I, I remember feeling at some point like The Last Airbender kind of put spirit to the side at one point. Like season one set up a lot of spirit based things that they didn't come back to that much in the following seasons. I mean, there was like the, the Wang Chi Tong in the Great Library, which I loved if you guys recall, but I don't remember much else from the spirit world in seasons two and three. But there's a lot of potential there, and yeah, I guess this season is going to focus heavily on that. I mean, that is the name of the book, right? It's called Spirit. Yeah, it's Spirits. So I think with a season dedicated to that, there's a lot of interesting things you can do. There's a lot to draw on there. So far, so good for season two, I'd say. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you for episode three.